we human beings have always had this uh, comfort zone, right, that we are the rulers of the planet. And why not? We are the most intellectual beings, and we are bound to rule this planet in the future, right? Will your expressions tell me a different story? You don't seem to be a bit confident. You're unsure. But honestly, I don't blame you. Because in today's era, we are witnessing something extraordinary. We are witnessing something which is exciting yet equally scary. Yes, I'm talking about the artificial intelligence revolution. Now, what is artificial intelligence? In simple terms, artificial intelligence, or in short, AI, refers to the cognitive intelligence of computers and machines. And as the definition suggests, AI has the capacity to use its own intelligence, and it holds the potential to be much more effective and much more efficient in performing different tasks compared to human beings. Ever since AI has created a sensation as it has received a center stage, all thanks to OpenAI's superhero, which we all know as ChatGPT. Now, in this AI ecosystem, we have two schools of thought. On one side, we have individuals who are extremely bullish on the developments in AI. There are a lot of statistics that also support this thought process. According to the Forbes advisor, the global artificial intelligence market is expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 15.7% every single year. And by the end of 2030, it is expected that the artificial intelligence market will contribute about $20 trillion to the global economy. Now, these are huge numbers, right? And people of this school of thought believe that artificial intelligence is here to stay, and it will help us to make our lives simpler. But on the other side, we have individuals from a different school of thought. They're constantly worried about the disastrous ramifications which artificial intelligence can have upon us. And let me tell you, they're not completely wrong. Massive company IBM recently replaced 7,800 human beings in place of AI. So in short, 7,800 human beings were replaced and AI took over them. A report by McKinsey shows that by the end of 2030, 800 million jobs will be displaced by automation. Now, after hearing these statistics, one gets confused, right? We are bound to ask ourselves a few questions. Will AI have such ramifications? Will AI replace us or not? Well, after hearing both these schools of thoughts, I can easily say that no one is wrong. In fact, partially, both of them are right. At the end of the day, artificial intelligence will have positive and negative effects. But it only depends upon our preparedness and our approach with respect to which we are dealing with artificial intelligence. Well, if you read through history, you'll understand a few patterns, specifically when you read the relationship between human beings and new technological innovations. Let's say, for example, the Industrial Revolution, or when the computers came. In both these instances, earlier, human beings were scared. They were worried that machines and computers would replace us, right? But what happened? Yes, partially there were some jobs where human beings were replaced by computers and machines. But in majority, these technological innovations brought new jobs. Extremely different, extremely innovative, yet new jobs were born. But these new jobs were a boon for those individuals who were prepared, who knew how to operate computers and machines. And it was a bane for those who were not prepared for these breakthrough innovations. Now, what's the moral of the story? The moral of the story is very simple. In the future also, new technological innovations will come and go. But people who are prepared, who have the skill sets, they'll avail that opportunity and they'll survive. And the individuals who don't have those skill sets will have to suffer the brunt. In short, survival of the fittest. And let me tell you one thing, forget artificial intelligence. One fact is for sure, which is that a human being who knows how to leverage AI will replace another human being who has no idea how to do so. Do you guys agree with that? 
I'm not saying about AI, but this is a fact, and it is happening in today's times. And at this juncture, we all have to ask ourselves a very simple question. Are we ready for this artificial intelligence revolution? Do we possess specific skills and mindset to actually leverage this beautiful technology? Unfortunately, the answer is no. And yes, one misconception that a lot of people have regarding AI is that, OK, I'm from a non-technical background. My industry has nothing to do with technology. Then how can AI impact my respective industry? Well, for this, I have a beautiful example. Currently, there's a strike going on in Hollywood by actors and writers against AI. Their studios are ready to pay less dollars to these respective actors, and in return, they want to use their images, they want to scan it, and in perpetuity, use it through AI. Now, just imagine. This simply shows us that the human hypothesis cannot be trusted. We always used to believe, right, that creative industry is the last industry where AI will impact. But guess what? The contrary is happening in today's times. At this juncture, I would like to talk about three major skill sets that as professionals, as students, today we have to imbibe, no matter what. Because see, you have to understand two fundamental truths. One is that AI is here to stay, and it will grow massively in the near future. And the second, it is our duty and responsibility if we have to survive in this age, if we have to jump to the next level, then we have to have certain skill sets. So I call these three skill sets as CAP, not C-A-P CAP, but K-A-P CAP, where K stands for knowledge of current AI trends with respect to your job. How many of you are updated with these respective technological trends that are impacting your respective industry? Please raise your hands. See, not even 10%. This clearly shows us that it's highly crucial that today we have to stay updated with these respective trends. Because at the end of the day, there will be a moment where AI in the future will massively impact your job, whether it's business, job, or anything. And at that juncture, you only have two options. Number one, you're prepared, and you'll definitely avail that opportunity. Or second, you'll be taken aback by a huge shock. And obviously, further feelings like complex confusion will surround you. And that's not a very good picture, to be honest. Therefore, it's extremely important for us to be up to date with all the trends, not just AI, but all the technological trends that are happening in your respective industry. And yes, it's not so difficult. In today's times, you have mediums like Google News, Twitter, YouTube, and many more, which can help you to stay up to date. And yes, one more thing. This up to date, you know, this up to date habit is not a weekly habit. It's a daily habit that you have to inculcate. So that was one. After K in CAP, we have A, which is adaptability mindset. A couple of minutes back, I was talking about uh, this concept of survival of the fittest. We all know about it, right? In this context, we have to understand that times are changing quite rapidly. And to be honest, we are not prepared. Therefore, we have to have that adaptability to change constantly. See, fortunately or unfortunately, we human beings are always resistant to change. We don't want to change, right? But the fact of the matter is, times are changing extremely quickly. Right now, I'm giving this TED Talk, and within these 15 minutes, some major development is happening at one corner of this planet. That is why it becomes extremely crucial in the coming times that the adaptability mindset will be important, because trends will change quite quickly. Earlier, it was metaverse. Today, it's AI. Tomorrow, it will be I don't know what. But at the end of the day, if you have this adaptability mindset, to quickly change and adapt and gel with the new trends. Then only, you'll be able to find success in your respective fields. Last but not the least, in CAP, we have P, which is predicting future trends. Now, don't worry, I'm not saying you should predict future. No, you can be relaxed of that. But I'll give you a simple example to explain this point. Today, artificial intelligence is getting all the prominence, all the fame, everything is going good. But extensive work in AI has been going on since more than a decade. And at that time, students and professionals who are, who are updating their knowledge and who are going with up to trend, they were following these trends. They are today, after a decade, 
reaping all the fruits by getting advantage. First move is advantage. They've got the edge because today they are equipped enough to avail all the opportunities that AI is presenting to them. That's why it becomes extremely important for us to connect the dots. See, no chat GPT or Google will come and tell you the future trends. No one can. Only you can. Only if you have two things. Number one, you're equipped with knowledge of the trends. And number two, you have the growth mindset to be adaptable at every single step of your career. That's only where you'll be able to connect the dots and you'll be able to predict future trends. There are many other skills, for example, emotional intelligence, problem solving, communication skills, and many more. These are also essential. But these three skills that I talked about, the cap, knowledge, adaptability, and predicting future trends sets a base for you. Once that base is sorted, then you can actually learn further new skills. One fundamental reality of artificial intelligence is that AI can be a wonderful servant, but a disastrous master. And in this age, where AI is coming and new technological advancements are constantly growing, if we human beings have to have an edge over this technology, then we have to put our efforts every single day to getting updated. In the end, I would just like to say, artificial intelligence is a double-edged sword, and its effects and results will only depend upon our preparedness and our approach which we deal with it in the near future. Thank you so much.